today is another video filmed with my GoPro camera, uh, so the sound quality won't be as good. But right now I'm on the way. Just got done with my chores, feeding the pigs. Um, then I will be taking the tractor to pick up the wood chipper. And I'm gonna prepare some for that. I'm gonna show you some cool footage. By the way, some people are wondering about our pigs, and we gave them names. Um, they're two females. One is called Barbie, uh, the other is Q. So, there you go. Names for our pigs. Hi guys. How are you today? We have to bolt this little thing here on the wood chipper. Don't ask me what it's called in English. But what it does is um, when we turn off the wood chipper, we first turn off the tractor and the wood chipper, um, the, this uh, wheel that the blades are connected to, it weighs over 100 kilos. So there's a lot of force that's still spinning and it's going to take a while to slow that down. So. We don't want, when we turn off the tractor, we don't want the whole transmission to keep spinning because it's connected. So you put this thing in here, which enables the tractor's transmission to stand still and the wood chipper to finish spinning.
machines are really handy, but I don't like working with them. I don't like this noise, and I don't like this whole oil and grease stuff. I don't like it. Ugh. I would rather clear stable out of manure than having to screw and repair a machine. And that's why I have so much respect and I'm so grateful for all you mechanics. We have great mechanics in the family and my wife's family and uh, I'm super thankful because not everybody likes everything. <laughs> when I used to do work in town uh, I used to be the guy in the hole with a shovel and I gladly let all my co-workers drive the machines. Um, rather work with my hands like that. But super grateful for machines and for people who love working with them. It's not that I can't, I just don't find it enjoyable. Okay, wood chipper set up. Uh, now that we have the wood chipper on our little tractor as a counterweight, I'm gonna unload my uh, chicken feed here and then I'm gonna get a trailer ready. This here was my garlic dryer and now it is gonna be what it was built for again. It's um, our homemade tipping trailer um, for our quad trailer. See we have this quad trailer here um, that we use to drive our firewood out of the forest but we also use it to drive water and it has a winch here that's connected to the quad and with this winch we have made a three and a half cubic meter tipping trailer I'm going to show you guys how we do this so we chip into this trailer um, it takes us about an hour to fill up then we have three and a half cubic meters of wood chips and with this we have um, the opportunity to just drive it anywhere and tip it off and drive right back and chip more. Uh, it would be a pain to have to do this by hand. And um, I'm going to just show you my, the brains behind this are my brother and my father. Um, just going to show you what kind of wood we used and why we used it and so on. Okay, new camera, new helper. Where are you? There. Come Danny, let's go.
Just have to get rid of the water tank here and this, this whole thing so I can put the tipping trailer on here. So what we had when we bought the chipper was this um, little logging trailer um, that we just used to drive out firewood. We also used to just drive our milled lumber um, from the sawmill to um, some spots. Just used it for a bunch of all round stuff here on the homestead. But we needed a tipping trailer that had a bigger capacity that we could use for wood chips. and you know moving unloading wood chips from a trailer or unloading anything from a trailer it is just a pain because you want it to go quickly especially the wood chips they're gonna lay on the ground it's not like you have to stack the firewood or anything like that so we're thinking how can we use this trailer for that as well so we have a special setting here where we take these screws um, we loosen them and then we put it on the right width just so that um, this thing, the adapter or whatever you might call it, um, that it fits exactly on here. Here you can see the white line that we have marked, which is the right spot for that trailer. There you go. Now the reason we build it this size and not bigger is because we needed to have it balanced so we wouldn't have too much weight on the quad and not too little so the main load would be here but still pushing on the quad um, otherwise I'm sure you could have taken this even further back and maybe did a four and a half cubic meters instead of three and a half cubic meters of capacity So as you guys can see, the winch is on this height and pulling up the trailer to here would not be enough to have the material slide out and you wouldn't really be able to tip out at anything. Basically, we took this piece of birch lumber here and it goes here in the front and we are um, putting the wire through here and it also has a built-in pulley system so that um, it can lift much more because this thing is heavy. Uh, even though wood chip is not the heaviest material, but three and a half cubic meters of wood chips is still quite heavy for a little quad winch like this. So through this um, pulley system here, um, it puts way less um, tension and, and strength on the, on the winch. We're really glad that we built it out of birch. Um, the reason why we did that, even though birch um, tends to rot much quicker uh, when it's outside. It's really important that this trailer here is parked in um, under a roof. But the reason we use birch is because birch is just much tougher. Um, the whole frame that we screwed the OSB against, we used birch just because you can use thinner, smaller dimensions and just have the same stability. Um, it's just very tough wood. So the wire comes out here and then from there is going straight up via this little wheel or roll, I don't know what you call these in English. As soon as it comes to all these specific terms, I don't know anything.
Okay guys, so this video is getting too long and I was actually missing some stuff here so I couldn't finish that but I will finish and explain all of this in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you soon. Bye bye.